yeah, I just wanted to do sort of like a little introduction. So this is part two, obviously, where I'm sort of looking and breaking up the camera a little bit and sort of cleaning it, etc. So um, the second part, of the, uh, sorry, the next part of this video is obviously going to look at that and sort of break it up in a little bit more detail for you guys uh, if you're thinking about buying one. Of them. Our first step is that we've got to take this off. We've got to take this off and what we've got to do is there's a couple of screws. So we've got one at the side here uh, and we've actually got two on the underside of this, which I'm going to go through uh, and show you how to take it off. So I'm just going to take it off now um, and then when I need to, I'll so what I've done again. instead is uh, this little piece of metal. And what I did is I just put it in the little crank there in a little gap there. Uh, all I've done is very gently, I've just held that there. Okay, just held that there. And then what I've done is I've sort of turned it to the left to help me unscrew it. And that what that has done is it's let me unscrew the top there. And it's come off. Okay, guys. So that is how you get that off. I think you can just push it up, push it off. No, all right, okay. So the crank, it doesn't move anywhere. So now we can get to those two little screws in there. You got two at the top. Now, when you take this off, take this off, you need to be really careful because what you're going to get, you're going to get a couple of wires attached, and you've also got a little switch button. A little switch button that comes off. You just take it off like that, and then you've opened up the top. Just be careful because you've got a green cable there, and then that's it, taken off. And the thing that you want to be having a look for, you just want to be having a look if there's any uh, unnecessarily grease or um, you need to have a look at the pin which is here which we're going to have a look this at. This is the part uh, in a bit close detail that we're looking at and this needle is meant to obviously come across and it pulls up so it catches, it pulls up and it's meant to take a picture. Now, as you can see, I pulled it across and it's still not working, so I'm not quite sure what's going on here. Um, and whether it, <clears throat> whether this is actually okay and it's actually the needle that needs replacing, um, I don't know. I mean, if there's anyone that could help me, that'd be brill. All right, guys. So be careful with this. There's a certain flat bit that connects and matches up. I'm just going to put that very gently, slide it back on, you slide it back on, it'll go like that. What we need to do here is unscrew these two screws. So once you've taken those two screws out, take this off. And then what you need to do is these wires need to come up over this. You need to pull those wires up. It can be a bit tricky. Once you've done it once, it's pretty straightforward. There you go. And then you're ready to take the end off. up taking this lens off. But the good news is that you can actually get to them. They're not as tight as I thought they would be. Uh, you just got to unscrew them a little bit. Don't make sure that they don't come out though, because you're gonna have a massive pain on your hands. Now, once it unscrews, obviously you can take that little bit off. Now, be careful though, because uh, what you want to do is, because this is obviously dealing with the focus and the focus ring, you want to make sure that that is going back into the same position and the same with the lens here. So I'm just gonna gonna put a little mark on the inside of this just to mark where that 12 o'clock is 
so I can put it back the same because otherwise what's going to happen is you are going to end up with a focus issue so there you go so what we've got to do I think all we've got to do now is unscrew this lens should come up should come off quite easily look at that and then give that clean with uh, a little bit of microfiber all right guys I've got mine here here's a little corner give that lens a good clean Inside. Look at that. Brilliant. All right, guys. And then what you've got, so I'll just give that a clean now. And then what you've got is inside there, you've got three deeper screws that we need to unscrew. All right, guys, and then the lens should come off. Once you've obviously taken this lens out, what you got, you've got a couple of screws there uh, and you've got some screws here. So what you want to be doing is, so if you take that one and that one, that is going to loosen up this ring here. Now, that one down here, that one and that one is going to take off the whole lens. Okay, guys, so if you didn't want to mess with this, just take those three out. Okay, but it's good to check everything anyway. All right, guys. Hey guys, so I've taken the lens off now, and obviously what you want to be doing is they're still attached, the wires are still attached, so just be careful with that. And what we've got here, uh, so we've got the other uh, sort of lens filament, and then obviously if we push that now, you can see those blades working. Now obviously sometimes what happens is those blades stick, uh, which means that what you've got to do is you've got to take these screws out at the side um, Sorry at the side uh, And then pull that filament off which I can show you quickly and then what you'll have to do is probably grease them up a little bit um, Okay guys So it is with that uh, little filament off it just slides off quite easily and as you can see those little thin blades, I mean they're pretty all right then and the working uh, which is telling me that it's going to be the light now I'm not sure I can fix that or not but we'll see all right guys here so I'm gonna put these back on now obviously you want to make sure it's aligned with the screws all right hey guys so obviously I put this um, I put this back on now uh, and then I'm going to start putting this back on very carefully. Uh, obviously, remember to make sure that it's automatic. Now, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to I'm going to need to open up this. I'm going to have to have a look at that and see if there's any debris. Now, if there isn't any debris and it's still not working, what I'm potentially going to have to do is replace that part. Um, hopefully, there might be I might be able to get one online. Uh, but we'll see if not I'll be honest it's pretty useless uh, and I might have to get my money back obviously there's this as well this ring here which I'll potentially might have to replace if I can't straighten it out so just a little tip uh, when you come to actually screwing some of these screws back in um, obviously it's quite annoying and sometimes you can sort of drop the screw in there which you really don't want because it's just a pain in the butt to get them back out so what a good idea is make sure your little screws on the end and just tilt the camera a little bit so that you can find that hole and then screw it in a little bit and that should avoid any screw drops all right guys just a quick tip for you okay guys so i've put the lens back on uh, but i've done that just because obviously what we need to look at underneath is this filament here and there's two screws there that we're going to have to take out i've taken off uh, the little light filament here uh, obviously you've got to be really careful with that now I've noticed actually there's quite a lot of dirt inside there so I'm hoping 
I'm hoping that might be related to it. Um, but we'll see. So I'm going to clean this up. So I'm going to clean this bit up now. Um, I was tempted to take that off, but there's something that's putting me off right there. So I'm going to try and see if I can sort of bend these back uh, into shape and hopefully, yeah. I mean, the only other reason could be that because this is bent, it's possibly damaged this, but uh, clean this out now. And obviously I'm going to try and put it back together. Uh, what I've noticed is there is on the on this here can you see that little sort of like u-shaped bar so there's that and then in the lens there's that little metal thing here this little metal thing here now i think that that needs to go over that so that's what i'm going to do um obviously you just got to line it up you just got to line it up and then move it around to where you need to screw it in So, best bet is to get it to one end, and then it should, should latch on, hopefully, fingers crossed, and then all I'm going to do is move that round to where it needs to be. Okay guys, now, let me just, I'm just going to double check that. everything back in now I've, re I've re screwed everything in um, again I don't know if it's gonna work or not but we'll see afterwards all right so now I've just got to put the lens back in make sure that that is in the correct position and then tighten that put up. the lens back in okay. now obviously I had a little mark up here uh, to tell me where I wanted my uh, at 12 o'clock just to make sure that the focus is right just always remember that guys but I've just put this back on and just remember to screw those screws in. And then all we've got to do now is put these cables back over and I'll put the little lid on. Like that. And then tighten them up. Obviously, okay. that's the majority of the uh, technical sort of taking the camera apart, having a look, making sure it works. What I'm good about on this occasion is the fact that obviously I've not been able to fix it and I think it is because of that light sensor. Um, the shutters are working, you know, everything else is pretty much clean. Um, I've cleaned it up, everything like that. So that's a really quick sort of um, refurb, you know, really nice cameras, obviously. It's a good thing to check that it's working. Um, it's something that obviously I've learned um, and I'm gonna see if I can get a replacement for this cheap enough. If I can get a replacement for that, I'll just replace the whole thing. Um, and yeah, we'll go from there basically, but we'll see. All right guys, um, the only other thing that we've got to do now is clean up these little sections here. Clean up these little sections and then we've sort of got to reapply um, something there for the light leaks, uh, but I'll probably do that in another video. Um, so yeah, that pretty much it. I'm just gonna clean them up now. Uh, bit of soap and water, a bit of, um, might have to get a craft knife on it or something like that just to scrape it off. But that's pretty much it. Once that's done, everything else is it's more aesthetic and just needs a big, bit of a clean, bit of a polish. That's I'm absolutely gutted that I can't get it working. I don't know what's going on with it, but, you know, I'm going to keep researching. If there's anyone out there that can help me out with what potentially could be the problem, because I, I actually reckon this is all right. I reckon it could now be something to do with the needle, which... I'm going to have a look, see if I can get like a cheap replacement or something like that and then have another go at it. But just up to get you guys, obviously, I'm still looking at it, still trying to fix it. Not worked on this occasion, but we'll see. All right, guys, stay safe.